welcome back so today we'll be talking about manage azure ad smart lockout uh, values so why do we use uh, the smart lockouts so basically it uh, helps to lock out the bad actors that are trying to guess our passwords uh, by using maybe brute force attacks so only the authenticated users will be getting access to our uh, directory whereas other people will be locked out let's see how it is done so initially let's go to the active directory and under manage you can see there is a section called security here you go so click that and under uh, security we have under manage we have authentication methods so click that so right now you can see we have uh, different authentication methods uh, which are not enabled right so for example you can enable from here as well so just uh, showing you if you click microsoft authenticator you can enable it and select the appropriate members here if you click the select uh, users or you can uh, make it for all users as well or you can add the users from here so right now i'm not doing this because uh it's not a part of this lab but i just wanted to show you however if oh shit. So however, uh, if you go to the authentication methods, so uh, here we have uh, password protection, click that. So you can see we have uh, different values here. So if we talk about the first one, which is account lockout uh, threshold. So basically how many uh, failed sign-ins are allowed on this account uh, before uh, its first lockout. So that is what it is and uh, coming to the second one the lockout duration in seconds so the minimum length in the seconds of each lockout that uh, we want to specify here and uh, you can also enable custom band passwords for instance let's say if you click yes you can add uh, the passwords here let's say admin123 something like that so whenever user try to log in uh, this password he'll be banned uh, he'll be logged out so that is how you can do it so you can build your own custom passwords here however like we'll be not uh, doing in this case so we'll just keep it no for this case and uh, make sure you click it yes and uh, coming to the other one which is more make sure you are enforced so you can know about more here so if it's set to enforce users will be prevented from uh, setting banned passwords and adam to be logged so set to audit to adam to only be logged so here we want to enforce it so instead of only logging so we'll use enforced here and make sure you save it so this is how you have to form uh, account lockout and uh, in the next video we'll be testing it using an account and uh, see how the accounts are being uh, locked out so let me check once again now uh, whether i have uh, given all the values correctly so here instead of 60 i'm just adding 120 according to the docs or 60 is also fine that uh, that is your wish so yeah i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you have liked the video please click the like button below if you're not a subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and and please share the video and i'll be keeping the relevant videos in the description uh, for you to watch thanks everyone